Midian, Hebrew, Median, Madian, Arabic, Ma Daya N or Madiam, Greek, Madiam is a geographical place mentioned in the Torah and Quran. William G. Dever states that biblical Midian was in the Northwest Arabian Peninsula, on the east shore of the Gulf of Aqaba on the Red Sea, an area which he notes was never extensively settled until the 8th 7th century BC. According to the Book of Genesis, the Midianites were the descendants of Midian, who was a son of Abraham and his wife Keturah. Abraham took a wife, and her name was Keturah. And she bare him Zimran, and Jokshan, and Madon, and Midian, and Ishbak, and Shua. Genesis chapter 25 verses 1-2, King James Version. <laughs> Land or Tribal League Some scholars have suggested that Midian does not refer to geographic places or a specific tribe, but to a confederation or league of tribes brought together as a collective for worship purposes. Paul Haupt first made this suggestion in 1909, describing Midian as a cultic collective Kultgenesenschaft or an amphictyony, meaning an association bund of different tribes in the vicinity of a sanctuary. Elath, on the northern tip of the Gulf of Aqaba was suggested as the location of the first shrine, with a second sanctuary located at Kadesh. Later writers have questioned the identified sanctuary locations but supported the thesis of a Midianite league. George Mendenhall suggested that the Midianites were a non-Semitic confederate group, and William Dumbrell maintained the same case. We believe that Haupt's proposal is to be adopted, and that Midian, rather than depicting a land, is a general term for an amorphous league of the Late Bronze Age, of wide geographical range, who, after a series of reverses, the most prominent of which are recorded in Judges chapters 6-7, largely disappeared from the historical scene. Religion It is uncertain which deities the Midianites worshipped. Through their apparent religio-political connection with the Moabites they are thought to have worshipped a multitude, including Baal Peor and the Queen of Heaven, Ashtaroth. According to Carol van der Torn, by the 14th century BC, before the cult of Yahweh had reached Israel, groups of Edomite and Midianites worshipped Yahweh as their god. An Egyptian temple of Hathor at Timna continued to be used during the Midianite occupation of the site Terminal Late Bronze Age, Early Iron Age, the Midianites transformed the Hathor mining temple into a desert tent shrine. In addition to the discovery of post holes, large quantities of red and yellow decayed cloth with beads woven into it, along with numerous copper rings, wire used to suspend the curtains, were found all along two walls of the shrine. Baino Rothenberg, the excavator of the site, suggested that the Midianites were making offerings to Hather, especially since a large number of Midianite votive vessels were discovered in the shrine. However, whether Hather or some other deity was the object of devotion during this period is difficult to ascertain. A small bronze snake with gilded head was also discovered in the naos of the Timna mining shrine, along with a hoard of metal objects that included a small bronze figurine of a bearded male god, which according to Rothenberg was Midianite in origin. Michael Homan observes that the Midianite tent shrine at Timna is one of the closest parallels to the biblical tabernacle. In the Bible Midian was the son of Abraham Joseph was sold by the Midianites who came across him and they sold him to the Ishmaelites. Midian was where Moses spent forty years in voluntary exile after killing an Egyptian. Moses married Zipporah the daughter of Jethro, the priest of Midian, also known as Rule. Jethro advised Moses on establishing a system of delegated legal decision making. Moses asked Hobab, the son of Rule the Midianite, to accompany the Israelites traveling towards the Promised Land because of his local knowledge, although Hobab preferred to return to his homeland. Cosby, daughter of the Midianite chief Zer, was speared by Phinehas together with Zimri. Zimri was the son of a Simeonite chief, while Cosby was a Midianite woman taken into his family by Zimri. The Midianite women's seductions of Israelites to their idol Baal Peor or Baal Fegur is described as the cause of offense to God, even though the Midianites were racially akin to the Israelites as descendants of Abraham, and Moses' own wife Zipporah was Midianite. Ignoring this, at least one modern-day movement has interpreted this story as a prohibition against miscegenation. Soon after, Yahweh instructed Moses to collect an army and destroy Midian. 
Some commentators, for example the pulpit commentary and Jill's exposition of the Bible, have noted that God's command focused on attacking the Midianites and not the Moabites, and similarly Moses in Deuteronomy directed that the Israelites should not harass the Moabites. The Israelites killed every Midianite male, including Zer and four other named chiefs, and brought back the women and children as prisoners of war. Moses condemned the Midianite women as the cause of the enmity between the Israelites and the Midianites, and ordered every woman who had slept with a man to be killed Numbers chapter 31 verse 17, but 32,000 girls who have never slept with a man were taken as plunder Book of Numbers chapter 31 verse 35. Israel was oppressed by Midian for seven years during the time of the Judges Judges chapter 6 verses 1 to 6. Gideon was called by God to deliver Israel from Midian's armies Judges chapter 6 verses 7 to 9. He killed the Midianite princes Oreb and Zeb, then pursued their kings Zabah and Zalmunna as far as Karkar, slaying them as well. Hadad the Edomite, opposing King Solomon, passed through Midian and Paran while fleeing from Edom to Egypt. Isaiah 60 to 6 speaks of camels from Midian and Ephah coming to cover your land, along with the gold and frankincense from Sheba. This passage, taken by the Gospel of Matthew as a foreshadowing of the Magi's gifts to the infant Jesus, has been incorporated into the Christmas liturgy. In the Quran The people of Midian are mentioned extensively in the Arabic Quran. The word Madian appears ten times in it. The people are also called Ashabu al Arabic, as H. Abu companions of the wood. Surah 9, Al Taba, verse 70 says, Has not the story reached them of those before them? The people of Na, Noah, Ad, and Thamud, the people of Ibrahim, Abraham, the dwellers, literally comrades of Madian, Midian, and the cities overthrown, i.e., the people to whom Lut, Lot, preached. To them came their messengers with clear proofs. So it was not Allah who wronged them, but they used to wrong themselves. In Surah 7, Al A Raf Madian is mentioned as one of several peoples who were warned by prophets to repent lest judgment fall on them. The story of Madian is the last, coming after that of Lot preaching to his people referring to the destruction of the cities of the plain. Madian was warned by the prophet Shu'aib to repent of using false weights and measures and lying in wait along the road. But they rejected Shu'aib, and consequently were destroyed by a tremor Rajfa, v. 91. Abdullah Yusuf Ali in his commentary 1934 writes, The fate of the Madian people is described in the same terms as that of the Thamud in verse 78 above. An earthquake seized them by night, and they were buried in their own homes, no longer to vex Allah's earth. But a supplementary detail is mentioned in Quran 26-189, the punishment of a day of overshadowing gloom, which may be understood to mean a shower of ashes and cinders accompanying a volcanic eruption. Thus a day of terror drove them into their homes, and the earthquake finished them. A number of scholars have proposed that the biblical description of devouring fire on Mount Sinai refers to an erupting volcano in the land of biblical Midian identified as Hala el Badr in northwestern Saudi Arabia. Topic pottery Midianite pottery, also called Karaya painted ware, QPW, is found at numerous sites stretching from the southern Levant to NW Saudi Arabia, the Hejaz. Karaya in NW Saudi Arabia is thought to be its original location of manufacture. The pottery is bichrome, polychrome style and it dates as early as the 13th century BC. Its many geometric, human, and animal motifs are painted in browns and dark reds on a pinkish tan slip. Midianite pottery is found in its largest quantities at metallurgical sites in the southern Levant, especially Timna. Because of the Mycenaean motifs on Midianite pottery, some scholars including George Mendenhall, Peter Parr, and Baino Rothenberg have suggested that the Midianites were originally sea peoples who migrated from the Aegean region and imposed themselves on a pre-existing Semitic stratum. The question of the origin of the Midianites still remains open. Topic see also Ad Balak Eglon Ishmaelites Kedar History of Ancient Israel and Judah Tabak, Saudi Arabia Thamud The Bible and History Midian War Genocides in History Sodom and Gomorrah Topic References This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Singer, Isidore, et al., eds., 1901-1906. Article name needed. Jewish Encyclopedia. New York, Funk and Wagnalls Company. Topic further reading Kleins, David and John Sawyer, eds. Midian, Moab and Edom, The History and Archaeology of Late Bronze and Iron Age Jordan and Northwest Arabia. 
Journal for the Study of the Old Testament, Supplement Series, No. 24. Sheffield Academic Press, 1983. Topic external links Singer, Isidore and M. Seligson. Midian and Midianites. Jewish Encyclopedia. Funk and Wagnalls, 1901-1906, which cites to Archaeology of Timna Another Timna archaeology site Richard Burton's account of his travels in The Land of Midian Spring of Harad, Mayan Harad